What's up guys? I'm Nick. And I'm Paige. And this is Build Dad Build. Plus one. Plus one. And it's mother trucking spooky season. Can you look at me? I'm not a face! <laughs> That's right, October is upon us. And you know what that means. Halloween is just right around the corner. And we need decorations, especially spooky decorations, according to Ozzy. That's right, that's right. So they haven't been old enough to really kind of enjoy Halloween. So we, ever since we moved into this house, we really haven't had a whole lot of outside decorations, just a couple of things here and there. So this year we wanted to punch it up a little bit. And what says Halloween more than gravestones. Nothing. So we've seen at least a dozen videos on how to do this. So we figured we would just kind of pick and choose different techniques and see what worked out best for us. Yes, a lot of different techniques. So we went to the big box store and we picked up some of the kind of white styrofoam foamy foam and some of the harder pink insulation foam. So we're gonna do a couple of different techniques. Paige is gonna learn how to use a router to carve. Dremel. Paige is gonna learn how to carve with the Dremel. I figured I'd run one of these through the laser to see how that, how the foam engraves. Of course. Of course. <sighs> Lasers. And we wanted to try different techniques for distressing, painting, all that good stuff. So, come along for the ride, kids. It's spooky season. So much easier than that. Make sure you're wearing the proper PPE. It does put off some fumes. So we, we've got the garage door open, we've got a fan blowing out. Uh, I'll be wearing a respirator and Paige has got her RZ mask on. She won't be directly in the line of fire. So we should be all right. And make sure when you're working with laser, cool shades, man. Cool shades. Uh, and of course, Paige will be wearing eye protection as well.
So we've run into a bit of an issue with some of the laser cut wording. It's so thin in some areas that you can't get a paintbrush in there. Let me show you. So this stuff right here, I just started going over this with a Sharpie to try to like make it pop a little bit. You, there, there, we can't, we don't have a paintbrush that's small enough to get into these individual letters. And so you can't really see them. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing right now. Just trying to, to clear that up a little bit. Um, the other issue is that the dry lock is kind of thick and gritty, so it gets down in there too and it kind of fills in some of my lines. So I'm just going over and basically I'm trying to hit the, the sides of the car with the marker um, as, as much as I can just to kind of so you can see them. They don't have to be perfect, it's gravestone, but, but yeah. So, uh, so here we are with the, the results, if you will. The, uh, the resluts, if you will. Nice. So I'm gonna let Paige talk about uh, her experiences, but I just wanna say first that the white styrofoam sucks, don't buy it. <laughs> All right, so these two on the end here um, were made with the white styrofoam, and it was a huge mess. Little white balls everywhere. That being said, it makes a great texture and um, looks a little more kind of authentic stone with a little less work. Uh, my favorite thing to use was the little shaver tool and that, um, that was great for doing the edges and for roughing up the front and kind of keeping it easy. Carving and cutting the white stuff, huge pain in the butt and a mess everywhere. I carved this one, I think it turned out okay. The other ones were um, the paint stuff. Much easier to cut, much cleaner, but you had to work a little harder to give it that texture. Which one's your favorite? This one. That one's your favorite? Good choice. And before I give you the, my lowdown, my lowdown, the lowdown, I just wanna say thank you guys for sticking around at the end of the video, especially all of my patrons. But an extra special thanks goes to my top tier patrons or my Boilermaker patrons. Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Chuck Faulkner, Derek Coates, Puffy Muffins, Zach Z, Jim Carter, and Andy the Viking. Clinkies. Clinkies. I don't have anything to clinkies you with. So I really liked working with the, with the pink foam because it cut a lot better with the laser. Like I've already said, the thing that sucked about the laser it was it, when I did real fine print, we couldn't get in there to uh, to paint it. So it was, so that was a little difficult. But I mean, I think it turned out all right in the end. It just it it wasn't. It took it took a little finesse to get in there. But we did experiment with a lot of different painting techniques. Is that right? <laughs> But we did experiment with a lot of painting techniques. Um, I liked, my favorite was when we paint the color on and then just blast with the water and let it run down because it just gives it that like kind of been out in the weather, kind of, you know, old tombstone feel. So I really dug that. And out of all of them, I gotta say this is probably my favorite um, where I just, I, I laminated two of these together and then I built this frame around there and kind of cut it out. This is Dremel carved by me and well painted by you I guess. Yes. Um, but this is probably my favorite one. What do you think, Dave? Mm-hmm. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. All right. So I dig them and I can't wait to put them in the yard but our HOA is kind of weird about that so we have to wait until October 1st which actually is probably today if you're watching this video the day it was released. Mm-hmm. Can't wait. Woohoo! So what you think? This was a lot of fun, and I love how they turned out. So, as so, Ozzy would say. <laughs> and I think it's kind of a minimal tools type deal, right? Like, you know, mm -hmm. you could do this with just a Dremel and, and a, a, a knifey thing. 
knife thing. And a box knife. So just a quick and easy project. Yes, it was. Now thanks for playing. Keep making shit. Hey, Ted's. Uh, roll it, Bill. Plus one. So you're not gonna say precious. Should I say Andrew? Yeah. Okay. Just giving her the business. Good call. Giving her the business. I'll try this at home, kids. True, true mastery right there. That's not true at all, actually. And look at me! I'm that face! <laughs> Don't kill yourself. I know, right? Well, it's very and small. This is, and this is when we took Nick to the hospital. <laughs> very, very small little window to run through there. So we've seen a. <clears throat> hey, Daddy. Hey, hey Tommy. Tommy.